Hey guys, welcome to Dorby Kegger. I'm Dom. I'm Rob. Ah, <laughs> surprise! Hello! I've been trying to do this forever. Rob, me, we, Tanner, what happened to Tanner? Why did he do this thing? Uh, actually, you know what? We keep having these really weird situations with a wood chipper. He's fine. He's fine. Well, most of them is fine. Um, but yeah, no, he's, yeah, it's, it's great. It's great. So, Tom, what are we doing today? Today we are doing a comparison video of a moon trance by CAO. Moon trance. Okay. And then their uh, pipe tobacco. <laughs> Who doesn't like pipe tobacco? Hmm? People that don't like pipes. People that aren't wizards or hobbits. Isn't this like weird? Like, you kind of count towards wizards? No, you, you trimmed it. It's I not the same. It's not the same. Okay, so. It's back, Bill. So, let's, uh, let's get into it. Alright. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a few puffs off of this and see what I get from it. He's already reviewed, obviously, the Moon Trance. It's one of his favorite infused cigars. Um, CAO makes some absolutely amazing flavored cigars. Yeah, there's, I think, there's at least five. There's uh, Cherry Bomb, which I'd like to do. This also comes in uh, tobacco as well. Uh, they have their mocha thing, their coffee mocha, cappuccino thing. Yeah, and then, um, I think that one's like a mint or something, right? Like a mint chocolate or something. There, I think there's also like a vanilla. There's a vanilla? Yeah, I think there is vanilla. Vanilla and Irish. The Irish cream, cream. that's what yeah. I was thinking. The green yeah. label. Yeah, the Irish cream. It has like a four leaf clover or something. But it's. They're coming, guys. They're coming. One at a time. Sometimes all at the same time. It really just depends on how you can take it. Anyway, so. Um, what I get from this. So, first off, the smell. On the wrapper itself, you get a lot of vanilla, and you get a little bit of, and what I get is a little bit of vanilla, and then a little cardamom. So you get a little bit of that, like, kind of spice, you know? It's, it's not bad. Um, it's, I mean, it, it smells and tastes amazing, and it's, it's very, it's very well packed. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But it's packed really well. <laughs> um, and burn holes in this one. But it's so, yeah, a very easy draw. Very, very good cigar. I he like this is one of his favorites. This is a really good cigar. It's not necessarily my favorite, or like it's it's probably in my top ten. It's um, one of my like many favorites. I mean I'm still yeah, he, kinda, just, he smokes cigars every day, so I mean, I'm still kinda new at it, but i if I had to, like I, I always have to have at least three or four of these because I like them. So why don't you go ahead and take a few puffs and kind of give them an overview of what you have. And then we can... Again, this is the pipe tobacco of the France. And I'm getting a lot more of the like a honey, peach, kind of bourbon-y taste. Because it's, it's straight tobacco. It's not wrapped in the tobacco leaves or anything like that. So... Flavor is just on point. On point. On point. Sorry, point. That's why you always gotta either do two fingers or do the blade. Hi. Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> what else do you got? Uh, not much of the vanilla, like you could say. Oh, it's, it's odd. The smell is... It's actually a little bit more intense than the cigar. It I mean, smells a little bit more, to me, yeah, I was going to say, like, with, with the smell, say, Robbie, what do you smell? Very, I don't know, I can't really pinpoint. It smells like vanilla notes, I mean, but it's very sweet. It's almost like sweet cream sweet. Right. So then when you light that, I smell hardcore vanilla from the cigar. Right. Okay. So it's like, I don't know, it's like that odd, I can't, you know, 
nose is a little clogged, but I do smell like his cigar, and he smells my pipe. Is that, that, that makes sense, sense, right? Like, that makes sense. like, of course it does. If you light like a black and mild, you can tell someone's smoking a black and mild. Yeah. Yeah. Or like uh, one of like the grape cigarillos, you know it immediately what it is. Don't make one. I used to. I used to smoke it. But then I got the. Robbie, you look like an old Irishman. Smoke a pipe. I am. Uh, well, that's completely different. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. I get that. That bourbony, uh, peachy flavor as well. That's good. That's way different. These are like two completely different animals. Like, subscribe, hit that little bell at the bottom, you guys. Uh, check us out on Instagram and Facebook as always. And uh, like he says, and Tanner says. I'd like to say it, you know, say hi. Comment Please. down below. Just give us a little, give us a little something. Let us know you're, you know, listening. there. You're existing. Um, As of right now, we are drinking. <clears throat> Aristone. Single malt scotch whiskey. Lancaster. And uh, Robbie, what what do you what do you get? So it's it's smoky. It's, it's delicious. It's smoky. Sorry, I don't. You mean definitely it. get the peat. It's definitely peaty. Age um, ten years. Under thirty bucks. Yeah, twenty seven. Be exact. At yeah. your local. It smells store. like a it smells like a peaty scotch. Honestly. Cheers. Wind's picking up, Rob. That it is. Hey. It was a stormy day on the sea. Laddie. Oh. Whew. So, uh. It, that was I a, think I could use the smoke. Yes. Yes. That's cool. My mission in life is complete. <laughs> And uh, what's this, Rob? What's this one? Well, I do believe that's the pipe you gave me. Don't worry, Tanner, I got you. <laughs> he has one. Oh, yes, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you'll check out both the pipe tobacco and the actual moon train cigar. It's, uh, it's two completely different tastes. Very well worth it. Um, Thanks again, guys, for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Cheers. Cheers.